and welcome to a Smurf P video and today we are looking at Wave 6 Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Golda. Now there's two ways to look at it. You can look at it as Hasbro a milk in it completely um, or they are just trying to accommodate us. So by milking it they're making two gold R's because they know we're going to buy it. Um, the accommodating means they know that we wanted a season two or season three gold R with the wings, but we wanted a season one with the little bone wings and um, yeah. So me personally, I always meant to buy two gold R's with wings because like some of um, other fans out there, I thought I would love one just with Rita when we get that team. And one with Zed, because it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? So, um, I, I'm, I'm aware that there are some differences with this figure. Um, so I guess we're, we're compared to two Goldars and, and see if there really is any real difference. Um, maybe not. Maybe there is. So, um, the packaging is lovely, as always. Do a good job with that. And then on the back, we just get a promo. Picture and he does look pretty fierce. Now, I guess the difference with the promo shot, I guess professionals are doing it to begin with, but the gold certainly looks a lot darker and a look a little bit more. Um, what's the word? What are those um, Chinese um, statues that that are uh, hidden, etc.? Tro not Trojans. Um, uh, there's an army of them, hundreds of them. And it was believed that the army were turned into stone, etc. It reminds me of that kind of look, etc. And, and even the face, the face looks dark as well. And it just looks so good on that. So, which makes it even worse because the actual gold art looks a hell of a lot lighter. So, let's crack him out. Um, also, thank you, Comics and Cartels, for um, doing uh, your usual. Great selling, great delivery, perfect everything. Okay, so here is Goldar out of the packaging, and um, I'm hoping you can see it, that the the gold plates in there, they do look a little like honeycombs, actually. Um, it's been close there, looks very, very nice, nice. I feel like there is a really, really nice paint job here. Let me bring it all the way up. Yeah, certainly looks like honeycombs, it's... um. Kind of cool. Tail, and then you get the back bit, and pretty much um, these little bones, which are actually quite chunky. So if you look at the arm, that's how big they are. And then that just slots in the back, which is great. They do move up and down. I'm not sure why you would be doing that. Maybe his wings still twitch, I don't know. Let me try and do this on camera as well. Once again, that's in there. And um, I'm hoping I put them in correctly and they're not on the wrong side. But there they are, they look, I think they look quite cool. Nice, nice and simple. Let's just get into position. And then we have this lovely sword, which is absolutely humongous. Um, it's a nice little paint detail on there. Very cool. And then we get the little effect, which um, I'll be honest with you, I'm ugh, never a fan of. Um, I think with the other release, I think he came with like a, a little purple effect. Be honest with you, it was so long ago I cannot remember. Just get that into place. And then he also comes with two hands, so he's got a closed fist hand and a kind of open hand. Oh, if that focuses. There we go. It's very cool. Lost all focus there. So um I would suggest that I get Gold are with wings.
Okay, so here they are together. Sorry if I'm just trying to make them stand up together. And, um, sorry about that. Um, I like the light. Um, so the, the thing that is most noticeable to begin with is, um, the, the in-between bits on this one are certainly, um, highlighted a little bit more than this one. And I think that goes, this one actually looks chunkier than this one. Is it just me? It does look a little bit chunky and a little bit bigger. I'm not sure whether it's how I've got them standed. Stand, standed, what on earth standed? Um, but yes, but then there's other bits on here that are highlighted more than this one. It's really bizarre. It's like they just couldn't find between the two figures a, a, a happy medium. And, and even the gold on the top looks a little bit different as well. But other than that, I feel like they're, they're the same figure. If we just take the camera down a bit. Just look at the lower section. And then once again, you can probably see off the bat how dark the shins are, the knee protectors are, so and and obviously the, the bottom kind of shelf in between them. And the other great de detail, which is uh, Brint, is this sword is huge compared to this. This one. Sorry, that was probably the wrong way to do it. You can see how intimidating this sword is compared to that sword. It's fantastic. Um, and if we just turn around the back as well. Let me just bring it up gently. That's not good when your light gets in the way. And we can see those, how the wings, I guess, change the figure ever so slightly. I think it's cool. And do you know what? I think a lot of people were a bit, hmm, what a, a wave. This doesn't seem like a very exciting wave, but I'm not, I'm not that bothered. To be honest with you, we got Zero Ranger 5. We finally got Mighty Morphin uh, Black Ranger. We've got a Gold So for those who did miss out on this dude, I don't think you, you people have missed out on him. I still believe there's a lot out there. Uh, just getting an opportunity to have two Gold R's for their collection. And then we, we finally got an in Space Ranger. So, okay, it wasn't the most inspiring uh, wave. We, you know, we, we would all be excited if this was another villain. But as far as I'm concerned, I think it works. And I, I cannot tell you how excited I am to see some Dulux villains next year. Pumpkin Rap, King's Finks, you know, that, that would be brilliant with the putties we've got. With Goldar, we just need a Scorpina. Bamboo and Squat, and you know what? We're in happy land. So, um, a great, great figure. So, what I'm going to try and do, and I'm sorry, this I'll try and be really, really quick. Just wanted to just emphasize. Sorry, this is not going to play. Come on, let go of your sword. Goldar does not want to let go of his sword at all. Like, literally, I'm struggling to get it out, but I have it out. Right, there we have one sword. And here we have sword number two. There we go. So you can really see the difference in... So, and it's not much of a, a shift, and I'm not sure what made them decide to say, actually, that sword wasn't that powerful. You can see the hint on this first one is bigger than this one so it's like they've just kind of swapped it over a little bit so they've taken some of this off and they've extended it here to make a more menacing sword bit here rather than here so which is awesome okay so just to wrap it up i, I find this gold a really nice addition to the team um i guess if you're you're not fussed about having two gold R's or you're not interest in having non-wing Goldar, this is an easy pass for you, but um, for me, I think it's perfect. And um, I feel like there are lots of opportunities. I mean, there were three seasons 
one season where Rita's in charge, one season where Zed's mainly in charge for a majority of it, and then that final season with um, Rita and Zed and Master Vile and Rita, um, and, and I really hope that we get those figures as well, because we want them. We want to have these beautiful sets on display um, showing these villains. These villains are just as important to us as, as the bad guys, so... Um, great addition um tell me what you think were you disappointed to have our gold on wave six or were you excited because you wanted a season one gold or were you just annoyed because you bought two gold wing gold R's for one for season one for one for season two or three whatever it is you you plan to do um other than that like um subscribe to my channel is always greatly appreciated and as always embrace the geekiness take care goodbye